Here we have Australia showing the October 2017 NDVI index. We could replace that with the uh, early November week 2 rainfall uh, or we could have a look at maybe the October minimum temperatures or the October soil temperatures. Again these could be weekly, uh, these could be yesterday's temperatures depending on what data is made available by the bomb. We could have a look at the October maximum temperatures or the vapor pressure for October, the soil exposure, the amount of light that um, is brought into the, the various bits of the soil. And from some of these we could calculate things such as the October minimum maximum temperature range. That's a calculated field using the numerical data collected from the bomb. Those are all historic past pieces of information. Uh, we can combine those. For example, if I look at the, the NDVI and I, I zoom right in, hopefully uh, we'll see Tasmania. And because I've used the the LiDAR data within um, within QGIS I can calculate my tree heights and so tree heights expand you can see I've got some nice big tall trees in the gullies and outside of the gullies the trees get pretty pretty blown away I could have a look at the the aspect of my of my um, my ground or uh, slope and from that information I can calculate my catchments and the, the likely river flow through through those sections. I could maybe bring in my my forecast winds for a period, turn those off, have a look at my forecast precipitation sea level pressure total cloud cover, the dew point temperature, relative humidity, my water retained on vegetation. Again once we have this information at this scale then bringing it back into the farm and into the catchments etc is something that can be can be done uh, through Python scripts but it's just actually having access to the data up front.